Craig was going to have to really end up doing the same thing you have this water doing right now. They didn't spend any money on depreciation or on fixed lines. So all of a sudden, you won't do it this year, you may not do it next, but five or six years down the road, you have a 25 to 3 percent Because all of a sudden, you're going to have a lot of lines to be repaired and no capital. Well, I, I just wanted you to point that out. Because it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't say really it. quite say well, it, but I, I know. I and I didn't say it in the letter, but we're way underfunding our public situation. We don't catch it. And Jeff, another example was on Park Road. Yes. Uh, that's where I've been designed, correct? Yes, I have two projects already on. Both are fairly expensive projects, but I have not, we're not going for them. But when the weight came about, the economy went down. The one project at Anderson Street, correct? Yes. And you see most of them staying, it's either staying the same or very little increase. Um, and actually, as far as the depreciation expense next year, you know, we haven't added plan to our capital yet. In other words, we've got $22 million sitting out there that hasn't actually been put into capital assets yet. So our depreciation expenses on the road are even more expensive. Uh, yes, it's about fifteen thousand dollars. They're not a real large water user, but it's in how much profit do you get on that? Uh fifteen thousand and it's probably got five thousand. Spend some of that depreciation money constantly because as pumps go down out of the system, that is transferred from our general to the depreciation fund, and then those pumps are either repaired or purchased new outlets. Are Jeff, are we confusing capital improvement and depreciation? They're almost the same. The way we work it, they're almost the like same. Well, capital improvement to me would be the new sewer line coming in with the park road. Yes, it could be, yes. But it's also the existing sewer line. Existing sewer line. Capital improvement could also be just a, a brand new lift station somewhere else that I have to pay for. There's, there's yeah. a department. Yeah, they say we have to have at least two, two months of uh, our general fund, so basically it's around. Yeah, we were short on our general fund. We couldn't even, we didn't have enough money to even keep our general fund. Okay, where are we now? How do we now? Now we're all right there. We're holding that. Uh, we ended up in 2010. We were able to transfer 10000 in the depreciation fund. We were able to transfer $1,000 in the general fund. And we're still confused. The revenue is dropped. Mm -hmm. However, the 
show four hundred one thousand dollars to the good. We saved one hundred sixty five thousand dollars by doing the sludge disposal. That's five hundred sixty six thousand dollars. We want to put four hundred thousand dollars towards the future for the other other one hundred sixty five dollars. That four hundred thousand. If I didn't have that, didn't make that one hundred sixty-five thousand. You know, I'm making one hundred two hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. It's money we didn't have, but saved us. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay
like ten, ten, well, $10 million dollars in this sort of uh, the remaining $12 million away is paid by the tip. And you've been trying to hold back on any increasing increasing the manpower uh, until the department has been willing to put something on additional the office for several years now. Save money for the utilities that utilize the services. If we reduce that and take the engineer out of that department, then the engineer would have to turn around and build them for his services for the city. So I don't want to completely take his services out of the utilities. We may reduce it from two thirds to half. That would save some money. You need to look at everything. That's what you're trying to say, right? Absolutely. Citywide, what we can do to keep from collecting more taxes or more fees onto our residents. That's fine. We have to find areas where we need to cut back. And you know, Ronnie, uh, I agree with you 100%. But if you compare the city reapers cost our utilities to the residents, you'll find out that it's pretty bad owners compared to everyone else. And yeah, hopefully there is more ways to cut cost. And that's something Jeff and Donna need to look at, and myself as well. But uh, do what we can, but you can only go so far there. And you you, you, you I mean, have that I that. <clears throat> Last year, this past summer on South Broadway, when that sewer line collapsed, what was the total cost of that, Jeff? Not eighty thousand. That one short section. Now it's costly. Let me ask you another question, Jeff. Have you done all the work that you have the equipment for and the manpower for with our backhoe and our personnel without contracting? Yes, we do the ones we can do. And the problem we want to run into is like, let's say North Broadway, it's probably yeah, about 14 feet deep right there. That's deeper than what we can do. So, we just can't trench it. Uh, yeah, shallower lines where we do repair, we did run a couple on Anderson Street. Uh, I guess we'll do that more stuff. You know, and if you look at the finances here, if nothing goes wrong, we're fine. We have 